slams Justice Bintang Yako, the man she steps down from Unam Dikanu's case, give shocking reasons. The Global Family and Movement of the Indigenous People of Biafra, IPOB, ably led by the prophet and indefatigable, indefatigable leader, Mazi Unam Di Okuchuku Kanu, condemns the Nigerian government's political and judiciary persecution of our leader, using Justice Binta Unyako of the Abuja High Court. Justice Bin Binta Unyako is a political stooge for the federal government of Nigeria who has used our court to persecute and deny Mazi Unam Dikanu his fundamental human rights for years. In a release by Comrade Ima Powerful, Media and Publicity Secretary for IPOB says, during the last court appearance of Mazi Unam Dikanu on April 17, 2024, Justice Bin Taunyako openly threatened to adjourn the case indefinitely because she was not allowed the liberty to execute the scripted judgment against Mazi Unam Dikanu handed to her by the Nigerian government. The visibly angry judge Unyako threatening, threat, uh, Unyako's threatening proved that she was highly compromised. She is being manipulated and controlled by the executive branch of the Nigerian government via the Ministry of Justice. Justice Bin Taun Yako has made herself an interested party in Mazi Unamdi Kanu's case, instead of being a non-partisan and unbiased judge. A judge that has no control over a court should not handle a high-profile case like that of Mazi Unamdi Kanu. Justice Bintown Yako should redeem herself and recuse herself or step down from Mazi Unamdi Kanu's case because she is already compromised and controlled by those who sent her because of their political interests. Since the kidnap and rendition of Mazi Unamdi Kanu in June 2021, an illegal arraignment before Justice Bintown Yako's court without legal representation, Justice Bintown Yaku has not given Mazi Unam Dikanu breathing space to express himself in order to allow for a fair hearing. She has always displayed personal hatred against Mazi Unam Dikanu in her court. Maybe she wants a pound of flesh of Mazi Unam Dikanu for forming the Eastern Security Network, who are dislodging her kingsmen, the Fulani, murderous terrorist headsman Maticia from Biafran bushes and forests. Even though the Supreme Court in their weakness ruled that the Nigerian government committed an international crime in bringing Mazi Unamdi Kanu back to Nigeria. Also, the same Supreme Court ruled that the Nigerian military invasion of Mazi Kanu's residence on 14th of September 2017 was responsible for him fleeing and that Justice Bin Taun Yako should not have revoked his bill Justice Bin Taun Yako should have reinstated Mazi Unam Dikanu's bill and apologized to him for tampering with his fundamental human rights. No, she never reinstated Mazi Kanu's bill. Instead, she refused Mazi Kanu's fresh applications for bill or transfer from the DSS Solidarity Confinement to a correctional center because she has a hidden hatred and hidden agenda. The actions and antecedents of Binta Unyako indicated that she will rule against this innocent man for reasons best known to her. Maybe he can inaugurate a vigilant group treating to, to destroy her people who have been raping our women in the bushes and forests and also murdering our people across southern Nigeria. Justice Binta Unyako was handed an already scripted judgment and she is under instructions to jail Mazi Unam Dikano. That's why she rejected every application to grant Mazi Unam Dikanu bill or transfer him to correctional center, but instead on accelerated hearing so she can deliver her agreed upon sentence with the federal government of Nigeria. She's in a hurry to pronounce the scripted judgment from Bola Ahmed Tinubu's government to jail Mazi Unam Dikanu. Justice Binta Unyako was selected because her husband was among former governors who looted their state treasuries with pending cases at the EFCC. She has an order 
to jail Mazi Unamdi Kanu in lieu of her husband's freedom from EFCC harassment. IPOB demands that she rescue herself and save herself and her family of shame and unforgivable erroneous judgment. Mazi Unamdi Kanu is a lawful Biafran self-determination activist. He was unlawfully kidnapped and extraordinarily renditioned to Nigeria by the Nigerian government. The Supreme Court of Nigeria on the 15th of December ruled that the Nigerian government violated international laws on extraction of, in bringing him back to Nigeria, though the apex court was under political pressure not to deliver justice. In the place of justice, the justices who are under pressure to deliver justice for Nigeria, the judges at the apex court sent the case back to Justice Bintan Yako, who is an executive stooge to continue the political trial and persecution of Mazi Unam Dikano. IPOB commend, commended the courage of the justices at the appeal court who refused to be intimidated but delivered a balanced judgment by discharging and acquitting Mazi Unam Dikano. The Nigerian government should save themselves and Biafra's time and resources by releasing Mazi Unam Dikano unconditionally in line with the appeal court's judgment. Apologize and dialogue with Mazi Unam Dikuchuku Kanu. IPOB stands on the judgment of appeal court on October 13, 2022. On that judgment, we stand. And this is the news for this morning. Don't forget to like this channel, comment under this channel, and click on the subscribe button for more news like this.